Yeah, I know it's been a while between blogs and not uploading. It has been quite some time since I have recorded a talk to camera video at my house. But yeah, we're back to it. So a few of you guys have actually asked me about what I will do after I finish year 13 and I do my A-levels. Which university am I aiming on attending next September? Which country will be in? So in today's video, I will be answering to these questions. First of all, if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Mario and I am a 17-year-old international A-level student from Spain. As I have been sharing my academic journey with you guys through this channel for more than a year already, I thought it was only fair to let you know my possible academic future. And yeah, as you can see in the title, I'm not going to apply to any universities at the UK. I know this may sound surprising to you, especially to those international students uh, from countries which are not part of the EU, of the European Union. So to better understand this, let's go back in time to 2016. The UK proposed a referendum, a general vote on whether the UK should remain in the EU, in the European Union, or if on the other hand it should exit it. Long story short, the vote ended up in a 51.9% of people choosing to leave the EU. A few years later, after negotiations had taken place, on the 31st of January 2020, the UK officially exited the European Union. Now, what does this have to do with my own decision of not applying to the UK? Well, it actually has everything to do with it. Amongst the many policy changes uh, taking place after Brexit between the UK and members of the European Union, there are a few that affect uh, students, especially those EU students that want to go uh, to study in the UK. This obviously includes me as I am a Spanish citizen, so yeah. The number of EU applicants for undergraduate courses starting in 2021 had decreased by 40% compared to the past uh, Brexit-free year. It's to that 26,000 compared to those 43,000 from the previous year. So now that you know that there has been a significant decrease in the number of EU applicants uh, to UK, you might wonder why. Which exact uh, policy change has made the number of students from the EU applying to the UK decrease so significantly? Well, the main thing that has been altered by Brexit has been the tuition fees for the EU students. Before Brexit, uh, EU students used to pay the so-called home tuition fees, which are the ones for the people living in the UK and it was also for those uh, citizens of the countries within the EU. This price uh, of about £9,000, although significant, this price was quite affordable because you could also ask for a student loan and you could just, you know, pay this later on once you reached a certain salary, so it wasn't that difficult to get finance, you know. Therefore, it was quite accessible for many EU students that wish to study in the UK. However, after Brexit, EU students don't have this condition anymore. They are now considered as uh, international students and therefore they need to pay the same as international students, which means that they are now expected to pay up to three times uh, the price that was, you know, the one before. Added to the fact that banks don't give any loans, any more student loans to EU students, this makes studying in the UK a very uh, expensive thing now for EU students compared to what it was before. So yeah, after this huge increase in the fees uh, required to study in the UK, uh, there has been uh, lots of students, including me, who don't consider uh, the UK anymore because either it's too expensive and you can't afford it, or maybe you could afford it, but it's just not worth uh, the price that it takes, you know? Maybe it's not worth the financial effort required, obviously it depends on you and your situation. So now that you know that I'm not going to apply to the UK uh, for university, you might ask, well, what then? Well, like, what, what's next? Where are you going, Mario? Like, where are you going? Or at least, where am I aiming for? Because obviously then, whatever happens, happens. Uh, if I don't get accepted, that's it. So yeah. Well, if you have seen my last video, uh, you know, this might not be a surprise, but I'm uh, mainly focusing on Ireland right now. I'm also considering the Netherlands. These are the most common ones, at least that I have heard about, because they offer English courses for a very similar price to the one that was for the UK before, but you know, I as prefer Ireland for some reasons. I recently went to Dublin uh, and I had a really good uh, feeling of the place, of the campus, of uh, the students because I actually 
uh, know a few guys from there. So I got to, you know, see how's the atmosphere and everything. And it truly looks really cool. This also means that studying in either Ireland or the Netherlands uh, has now way more competition as there is way more demand due to this uh, Brexit thing uh, that 40% of EU students stop applying to the UK. Uh, including me. So yeah, admissions will be more competitive uh, for these two countries that I've talked about uh, and it will be more difficult to get in. I will also apply for uh, Spanish universities uh, just in case, you know, you never know. Uh, but yeah, my main aim is going to Ireland, to Dublin. Uh, I hope that happens. I will work really hard for that, uh, like really truly hard. I need to put tons of effort and time into this uh, and make sure that I actually get the grades that I think I could be good with, uh, you know, to enter and be a bit more uh, confident about my chances of getting in. So yeah, if you happen to be watching this video in the far future, you might already have my A-level results available and you can just spoil yourself, uh, you know, and see if I actually got in or not. Um, but yeah, uh, right now, you know, I'm in the present moment uh, and I don't know what will happen. And it's obviously not the end of the world if I don't get in, but yeah, I will try to aim for that. Uh, and you know, I would try really hard. But yeah, until then, I will keep sharing with you guys my journey, uh, my workflow, um, how I study for my exams, um, the methods I use, or anything that I can just share with you guys uh, to hopefully help you guys as well in your own journey. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I've got nothing else to say. Uh, I have shared with you my current situation, uh, my aims, and how I think about it, uh, and how I approach it. So yeah, I don't know. Let's just try as hard as we possibly can. Obviously, have fun during the journey, uh, journey before destination, Ali Abdal. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.